Hello and welcome again. Let us take the last case of duality or last case where we are going to construct dual of a linear programming problem. And this is a very special case. It has equality as well as unrestricted variable. So far as the size or length of the solution is concerned, this can be the problem having the largest or lengthiest possible solution. Let us start. First of all, checking maximize z equals to 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 7x3 subject to x1 plus x2 plus x3 less than or equal to 10. 4x1 minus x2 minus x3 greater than or equal to 15. x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals to 7. x1 and x2 are non-negative and x3 is unrestricted inside. Okay, now be clear. At number 3, there is equality. So, in dual, exactly the third variable must be unrestricted in sign. Similarly, the third variable in primal is unrestricted in sign. So, in the final dual, the third constraint must be equality. Okay. Now what? First of all, with the objective of maximization, first sign matches, but second and third not. We have to revise the content of the primal. First of all, let us think what will happen with this one. It will be minus 4x1 plus x2 plus x3 less than or equal to minus 15. And another change we need is in the place of x3, the unrestricted variable, we have to substitute the difference of two non-negative variables. So, take x3 equals to The difference of two variables which are non-negative okay now what to do with the equality x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals to 7 should be segregated into two inequalities x1 plus x2 plus x3 now what should be the sign of the first inequality it should be in matching with the objective since the objective is maximization the first sign will be less than or equal to and the second sign will be opposite that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 greater than or equal to 7 but we have problem with this sign it is not in matching with the objective of maximization in case of objective of maximization the sign of all the constraints must be less than or equal to. So it will be minus x1, minus x2, minus x3, less than or equal to minus 7. Now we have to rewrite the primal because we have made some changes. Let us take the effect of all the changes in the primal. It will be maximize z equals to 3x1 plus 4x2 now plus 7x3 what will happen with plus 7x3 7 into x4 minus x5 so it will be plus 7x4 minus 7x5 in the place of x3 we substitute x4 minus x5 so 7 into x3 will be 7 into x4 minus x5 that is 7x4 minus 7x5 subject to In all the three constraints, there are x3 or minus x3. So, just we have to say, take care of sign. First is x1 plus x2 plus x3. No, no plus x3. That will be plus x4 minus x5. Less than or equal to 10. The second we have revised it with the changes of in sign minus 4x1 plus x2 plus x3 will be now plus x4 minus x5 less than or equal to minus 15. The third will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 will be now plus x4 minus x5 less than or equal to 7. And the fourth will be minus x1 
minus x2 and minus x3 will be now minus x4 plus x5 less than or equal to minus 7 and all the 4 x1, x2, x3 and x4 sorry not 3 but x4 and x5 x4 and x5 no negative now the sign of signs of all the constraints are same in matching with the objective of maximization we can add there is no unrestricted variable in this case so we can write the dual of this primal and this is our revised primal remember we are going to write final answer of this question but these are our official working notes dual of revised primal Let us first make some markings which are important. Yes, what is going to happen? The two main things. There are four constraints. So first we will have four decision variables. Y1, Y2, Y3 and Y4 respectively from the constraint number 1 to 4. And the right hand side will be coefficients of objective function of the dual. Okay. Now let us write dual of this revised primer. Maximization against minimization. Minimize zy or z star equals to 10 y1 minus 15 y2 plus 7 y3 minus 7 y4 subject to yes x1 x2 x4 x5 we will have four constraints from x1 we can write the first one 1 y1 minus 4 y2 1 plus 1 y3 minus 1 y4 greater than or equal to opposite sign 3 the coefficients in the z function of primal becomes the right hand side of the constraint in dual 3. Now x2 and second all are with coefficient of 1 or minus 1. So y1 plus y2 plus y3 minus y4 greater than or equal to 4. Yes. From y4 now we can write the third and in case of fourth, uh, y, uh, x4 also the coefficients are 1 or minus 1. y1 plus y2 plus y3 minus y4 greater than or equal to 7. And from y, uh, x5 we will write the fourth constraint. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, plus 1. Minus y1, minus y2, minus y3, plus y4 greater than or equal to minus 7. Now, all these four are non-negative at present. But, we have to observe two things. First of all, constraint number 3 and 4 has the dif have the difference of signs only. So, they represent a single equality. Similarly, what is the difference between y3 and y4? The difference of sign only, coefficients are same. My, the coefficients are same but the difference of sign. Where y3 is positive, y4 is negative, y3 is negative, y4 is positive. This can happen only if these two are the result of substitution of a variable which is unrestricted in sign. So we have to take y3 minus y4 equals to y dash which is unrestricted in sign. So now we can write the dual and that will be the 
final duel but we will have to check it minimize z star or z y whatever you are writing 10 y 1 minus 15 y 2 plus 7 y dash subject to the first constraint y1 minus 4y2 and in the place of y3 minus y4 there will be only y dash plus y dash the sign of y3 will go with y dash greater than or equal to 3 the sign of y3 is going with y dash because we have maintained this order I strongly suggest strongly request you to maintain the order of inequality sign at the time of splitting the equality of the primal if objective is maximize first right less than or equal to and then greater than or equal to if the objective is to minimize then first right greater than or equal to and then less than or equal to your sign will be automatically maintained okay yeah now next y1 minus y2 plus y dash greater than or equal to 4 and now we need to write only one constraint y1 plus y2 plus y dash equal to 7 here also the sign of the first constraint or other first constraint with greater than or equal to will be there because we have maintained the order so here also the order is automatically maintained now we have three variables out of which y1 and y2 are non-negative and y dash unrestricted in sign. Now let us check the original primer has three constraints so the final dual has three variables. The original primer has three variables so the final dual has three constraints original primal maximization uh, dual is minimization that rule we have to follow but the interesting case is original primal has equality and as the third constraint the primal has unrestricted variable number three see the number must be tallied third is equality third variable is unrestricted Similarly, in case of the original primal, the third variable is unrestricted in sign. So, the third constraint of the dual must be equality. It is. So, this is our final dual. That is final answer of the R. Original primal. All these are our working notes. That's it. I hope you can understand it. Thank you very much.